And good morning again. We start with the news from overnight. This setback to Iraqi forces fighting in the city of Tikrit. CBS News correspondent Charlie Dankata is in Baghdad. Charlie. Yes, uh, Bob, the situation is fluid and constantly changing. The Iraqi military launched its largest offensive to try to get rid of ISIS uh, militants and Sunni insurgents in Tikrit yesterday. As of last night, Iraqi state television said that Iraqi forces had completely cleared the city of militants. But this morning, local security sources say that isn't the case. The militants have been able to push uh, Iraqi forces, government forces, back something like 15 miles south in this sporadic fighting going on in and around Tikrit. So they have not been able to go any further, and this offensive has stalled. Uh, military, the Iraqi military spokesman said to us that the uh, U.S. advisors have been uh, part of this. They've been helping to coordinate this offensive to the north. And the Iraqis got a boost this weekend with the delivery of five Russian fighter jets. They have been screaming for some kind of air support in this conflict. Charlie, do you think there's any chance that uh, Prime Minister Maliki is going to step aside or that he might reach out and, and try to form a more inclusive government as the United States is urging him to do? Well, certainly in terms of stepping aside, Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki has said he will not do that. He will go through constitutional laws, but he's not just going to step aside and have some sort of emergency government. Now, in order to remain in power, he's going to have to build some broad coalition that will include the Sunnis and will include the Kurds and will do something to try to piece this country back together. I would say that his political life is hanging by a thread. All right. Well, Charlie, keep your head down and thank you.